حاول تدافع عن ارضك ووطنك President al-Assad arrives in Daria to check up an army unit on the occasion of Army Day. President al-Assad stresses that Syria's confidence in victory allowed it keep steadfast over the last two years in the face of the aggression. On the 68th anniversary, the Syrian Arab army proves to be the shield protecting Syria against all dangers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Army Day. President Bashar al-Assad arrives in Dariya now to inspect an army unit on the occasion of the Syrian Arab Army Day. President General Bashar al-Assad, the Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Armed Forces, had addressed a word to the Army on the occasion of the 68th anniversary of the establishment of the Syrian Arab Army. President General Bashar al-Assad, the Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Armed Forces, has addressed a word to the Army through the People's Army magazine on the occasion of the 68th anniversary of the establishment of the Syrian Arab Army. President al-Assad greeted the Syrian Army's unique courage in confronting terrorism, affirmed that the Army has astonished the world with its steadfastness and ability to overcome difficulties and realize achievements. The President praised the sacrifices of the Army, who is protecting the homeland's dignity and honor, emphasizing the Army's role in safeguarding the cultural identity of the Arab nation and Syria. The President also hailed the mutual bond of confidence between the Army and people, which constituted the secret of Syria's legendary steadfastness. You have shown the whole world that pressures and conspiracies, no matter how tough and varied, would further increase your determination to confront challenges, the president said. The president emphasized that there are sacred principles in Syria based on the interests of the Syrian people and their national and pan-Arab goals. Had we in Syria not been confident of victory, we would not have been able to remain steadfast for over two years, President al-Assad asserted. President al-Assad voiced confidence in the army's ability to shoulder its responsibilities and perform its national tasks. His Excellency greeted the souls of martyrs and their families from whom the strength of steadfastness is derived. Defense Minister General Fahad Rasim al fraj has greeted the Syrian Arab Army on its day. In a word, on the occasion, General Fraj said, the army has been confident since the beginning of its ability to realize victory, otherwise Syria would not have been able to continue its steadfastness. He added that the strength of the Syrian Arab Army has been and is still a main concern for our enemies who are always seeking to target it. General Fraj said, Syria is leading the war not only in the face of terrorism and the terrorists, but also in the face of Arab and regional regimes, and is fighting terrorism on behalf of the world as a whole. He said the Israeli enemy's agents have failed in their attempts to weaken Syria, so the Israeli entity resorted to direct aggressions to back up the terrorists who were defeated despite the support and funding they receive. On the 68th anniversary of its establishment, the Syrian Arab Army remains a symbol of struggle, a maker of glories and heroism, and an embodiment of the people's and homeland's will and pride. On the 1st of August 1945, the Syrian Arab Army was established, an occasion that has been celebrated since that date by our army and armed forces, the protectors of the homeland and the upholders of independence. Together with the Syrian people, the Syrian Arab Army took part in the struggle against the French occupation until independence was realized on April 17, 1946. 
The army also took part in defending Palestine during the 1948 war. Thanks to its spirit of patriotism, the Syrian Arab army played a major role in realizing the first unity in the Arabs' modern history, namely that between Syria and Egypt. Following the 8th of March revolution, the decision was taken to build a national patriotic army that started to be regarded as the Arab nation's army. It waged with the Egyptian army in cooperation with some Arab armies the October War of Liberation 1973. The heroic Syrian Arab army has confronted the Israeli aggression of Lebanon in 1982 and supported the national resistance in Lebanon until the historical victory of 2006 was realized. Today, on the 68th anniversary of its establishment, the Syrian Arab Army is embodying in its battle against terrorism and its supporters the values it has upheld since its inception, namely defending the homeland and safeguarding its dignity and honor in the face of the projects that seek to undermine the Syrian state and its independent national decision. In Damascus suburb, army units restored stability to al mutahin in Al-Ghazlaniya after eliminating a big number of terrorists. In homes, two citizens were killed following the explosion of an explosive device planted by a terrorist group alongside the road between Maksar al husan village and Al-Mukharram. A military source said that the terrorists detonated the explosive device as a motorcycle was passing by, killing two citizens. In Idlib countryside, our armed forces restored security and stability to Matram town after eliminating a terrorist gathering on the surrounding farms and caves. A military source reported that big quantities of weapons and ammunition were confiscated, including 120 mm mortar cannon along with ammunition. At least 47 explosive devices were dismantled, some of which weigh between 200 and 300 kilograms. Army units also destroyed a factory for manufacturing explosives and eliminated a big number of terrorists, some of them of foreign nationalities in the city of Saraqib. Army units also destroyed terrorist dens and different types of weapons in Al Arba'in mountain in Idlib countryside. Badr Muhammad Salibi is a child recruited by armed terrorist groups in Deir Zor to commit an ugly crime against two army officers. The child said that his uncle asked him to accompany him to a place in which two army officers live. He gave him a machete and asked him to slaughter one of them as another person slaughtered officer. He later was asked by his uncle to go to an army checkpoint in order to plan for another massacre when he was captured. The child said that he will never forgive his uncle. It's worth mentioning that recruiting children is combat, in combat operation is considered a crime punishable by international law. In Syria, international media reports documented crimes verified by several UN organizations including Safe Children Organization. I will stressing that a number of Syrian children were recruited by armed terrorist groups to commit ugly crimes, calling on the international community to work hard to stop such practices. Syria, who joined Children's Rights Agreement in 1993, called on the international community and other humanitarian organizations to protect children against the evils of terrorism. Occupied Palestine, several areas in 1948 territories witnessed angry protest against the Zionist Prayer project. Palestinian news sources pointed out that youth groups which reject the Zionist plans called on Palestinian demonstrators to step up their protests on the second day of anger against the Israeli plans to Judaize Palestinian territories. They stressed that all efforts should be mobilized to stage effective and well organized protests.
Now to latest business and market news, but after a short break, so stay tuned. Welcome back. The companies of the general establishment for food industries could achieve a production which is estimated at one and a half billion Syrian pounds during the first half of the year. The production value until the end of that period was more than one billion and two million Syrian pounds, noting that the establishment exports did not exceed ten million Syrian pounds. On the other hand, the establishment asserted that its companies have faced a lot of obstacles as a result of the current crisis, in addition to the lack of some production requirements. The manager of the general company of yogurt in Damascus asserted that the company has achieved a production estimated at 70 million Syrian pounds and sold at the same value in the first half of the year. The manager added that the company's productions are available in the establishments and in the private sector as the total production capacity reaches about 28 tons a day. The prices of U.S. crude oil advanced for a second day, extending the biggest monthly gain since last August, as manufacturing unexpectedly strengthened in China, the world's second largest crude consumer. Futures climbed 0.7% after rising yesterday by the most in three weeks. Brent for September settlement was up 45 cents to reach more than 108 U.S. dollar a barrel. U.S. stock index futures advanced following the Standard & Poor's 500 index biggest monthly gain since January as investors awaited data on manufacturing and jobless benefit claims. European stocks gained as investors awaited policy decisions from the European Central Bank and the Bank of England. Jewelers Assembly set the price of 21 karat gold at 7,500 Syrian pounds per gram, declining 500 Syrian pounds since yesterday, while the Rashadi golden coin was set at 55,500 Syrian pounds and the English coin was set at 62,000 Syrian pounds. Finally, the euro fell from a six-week high against the U.S. dollar amid speculation that the European Central Bank president will reassure investors that policymakers will keep interest rates low after a meeting today. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Have a peaceful weekend.